What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel. Monday is here, so you guys know what that means. That means mods are back. Well, hopefully you guys all had an amazing weekend. Uh, we have a lot of mods to go over today. Okay, on consoles, we have the Maestro Maze Headers, the old wooden trailer, the Lizard Farmline 6x4, Lizard Cret, Lizard Cambridge 3.2M, Small Disc, Spreader 400, Tool Bell, Demco 42 a foot, Case IH 2566, the Fliegel TTW100 NOAA, the GDR Building Package, Medium Garage with Shelter, Very Old Barn, Market Stall, Large Silage Bunker Pack, Old Gates Pack, Rack Pack, with wind turbines and wrecked boats. So that is new mods on console. Now, console updates. We got No Man's Land, M402 Disc Carol, Disc Carol 1.6M, the Pottinger Nova Disc Pack, Crone ZX 470 GD, Old Lizard Car Trailer, Placeable TMR Silo, and the KPS Force. So that's all the updates. You know what? Let's roll that intro and let's get into these new mods. Here we go. Okay, and so the first mod we'll be going over today is the Maestra Maze Headers. Let's see, it includes one, two, three, four, five, six headers, uh, all 18 slots, all ranging from, let's see, uh, 3.8 meters all the way up to 8.6 and 55,000 all the way to the cheapest at 15,000. As you guys can see, let's see, this one can be hooked up to the Bison Super Z056 and this one all the way at the end, the CR1090 or the Ideal. Let's take a look at the options. Uh, looks like there is no options on them though. Okay, so that is the Maestra Maze Headers. And here is the next one. This is the old wooden trailer. Let's see, it is six slots, uh, holds up to 3,150. Can pretty much hold anything you can think of. Uh, let's see, options on this. We got main colors, looks like gray, greens. We got some reds, blacks, uh, some more greens and blues. Uh, rim colors, pretty much the same thing. And then design color, you got a lot of browns. So yeah, there we go. Kinda looks pretty cool like that. Let's see, capacity 3150, 2560. So we're going to 2560 or 3160. Uh, wheel setup, you got standard wheels, which is right there. And let's see, wide tires, and then back to standard for that one. So that is the old wooden trailer. And here is the next one, and this is the Lizard Farmline 6x4, which to me, this kind of looks like a Scania, but it is 135,000. Top speed is 55 miles an hour. Let's see, 560 horsepower. It is only 18 slots on that one. Okay, let's see, rim color, any color, design color, any color, and main color, any color. Let's see, design, you got short mud guard. Uh, so let's see that, there it is right there. You got the long mud guard, and we're back to short. Uh, airfoil, you got standard airfoil. You got airfoil, and then back to standard. Engine, you got the 560 V8, which is 560. You got the 620 V8, which is 620, and that is it on that. Okay, let's take a look at these actually in game. And there they are in game. Uh, let's actually put up the help window so you guys can see the buttons. Let's see, enter vehicle. Okay, let's see, LB, nothing, RB, nothing besides, there's the horn. Uh, let's see, nothing on that one either. Okay, so here's the interior. It is really tinted, wow. Okay, so this is the interior. Got some nice little bed, looks like some speakers back there. Uh, so there is that. Okay, let's turn over the engine. Ooh, nice sound. Okay, let's see. Everything looks like it turns on. Lights, one, two, three. Three sets of lights. Turn signals, yes. Yep. Okay, uh, let's see. Yes, the dashboard and all that lights up. I don't know, is it me or is it really, really dark? on there it might just be me okay let's actually uh let's see everything looks really good you can actually see the drive chain moving right there that's pretty cool okay i'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear the engine sounds so here we go Okay, there we go right there. Got it's at least about 40. Yeah, 40 right here. Okay, so let's start stopping it. You can hear the air brakes. Okay, so nice truck right there. Okay, let's get to that next new mod. Okay, and so here we are with the next one. This is the Lizard Cret. It's actually under subsoilers. It is $10,000. Let's see, 4.0 working meters. It is five slots. It does require 160 horsepower. 
Uh, let's see options on this. There is no options on this one. Okay, so there's that one. And so we have here the Lizard Cambridge 3.2M. It is actually under miscellaneous. Let's see, 3.2 working meters, uh, four slots. It does require 50 horsepower. And this actually says a cultivator prepares fields for the next sowing. So I guess this is a cultivator on here. Let's see options. You got main color, any color you can think of. So we can go all the way to orange if you wanted to. And the design color, any color really looks like more of the uh, blues, greens, grays, and reds on that one. Okay, so that is the Lizard Cambridge. Now we have the small disc. Let's see, 4,600, 3.0 working meters. It is three slots. It uh, does require 60 horsepower on this one. And options, we got main color, you got red, yellow, green, or blue. Uh, design it says config one, config two, config three, config four, and back to config one. So it pretty much just changes the discs right there. Okay, and so the next one we have is this right here. This is the Spreader 400. So let's see, it is three slots. It is $4,000. It holds up to 400 liters. 50 horsepower is required, 6.0 working meters. And this thing can actually do fertilizer or lime. I'm pretty sure though, if you do lime, it's probably gonna run out pretty fast. Uh, let's see, options on this. Main color, you got red or gray. So that is for the Spreader 400. Okay, and the next one after that we have is Tool Bell. This thing is $3,000. Let's see, the six slots. This is actually under the telehandler section on this one. Options, we got main color, any color you can think of, design color, any color. Let's actually change it just to C real quick. Let's put it at white and then change this one to Chance's favorite color, pink. So there it is right there. Let's see, design, we got short forks, long forks. Uh, let's see, attach a type, telehandler. You got wheel loader and front loader, so you can actually put this thing on something else. It's actually a really nice bail loader right here. Okay, and here we go with another one. This one's actually a really nice one. This is the Demco 42 foot. Let's see, it is seven slots, so not bad on slots. $45,000. It can hold up to 100,000 liters. Yes, you guys heard me right, 100,000 liters. Uh, it does have a certain amount of crops you can hold, you know, your wheat, barley, oats, canola, all that good stuff right there. Let's uh, take a look at all the options. Options, we got main color, any color, and then design color, any color right there. This is really nice. As you guys can see, it is a dump trailer right underneath. So it has two sections. You know what? Let's actually get it and take a look at it in game. Okay, here we are in game. I'm just hooking this thing up to, of course, the new truck. Let's put it right there. Okay, let's take off that side right there. Yeah, as you guys can see, that is nice. Wow. Yeah, that is actually really, really nice. Okay, let me actually put up the help window real quick. So we got closed cover right there, as you guys can see. Horn, tip side back, tip side front. So you can change which ones. And then, yeah, so unload here. So of course the bottom opens up and it starts to unload. So a really nice trailer. And now we have a new harvester. This is the Case IH 2566. It is $205,000, holds up to 7,050 liters. Let's see, 38 slots on that is 253 horsepower. So options, let's see, you got clear windows, you got dark windows. Uh, let's see, attachers, you got rigged cutter. Uh, well, let's see, flexible cutter. What does that change exactly? I don't know. Wheel setup, we have standard. Twin wheels are back to standard on that. Also, this did come with a header. So header is right over here, and then go all the way over there. There it is right there, the TerraFlex, which is 46,000, 7.6 working meters. It is 10 slots, and of course, it can be hooked up to the 2566. Options on that, there is none. Let's take a look at this in-game. And here we are in-game to take a look at, look how dark those windows are. They look really good, though. Okay, let's get inside. Uh, here is the interior, really nice interior. I like the dark colors. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, let's turn that on real quick. Let's see, unfold. That's what it looks like, unfold it. Let's see, disable straw swat, does that thing move? Okay, just pops in right there. Uh, pipe out. That looks good with that. Cameras, two cameras, uh, let's see. Horn, uh, what is this for? Oh, you can actually open up the door. And that's with the LB and RB. Okay, so let's turn this on real quick. Everything all lights up, really nice. Uh, lights, two sets of lights. Okay, let's hook, let's hook this thing up real quick. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's lower that down and turn that on real quick. 
Okay. So, really nice animations. Everything looks good. Yep, all looks good. So, a really nice harvester right here. We actually don't get many cases. Okay, and after that, we got the last regular mod for today, and this is the Flegal TTW100. No, and this is an animal transport trailer. Let's see, it's 24,900. Uh, let's see, it has 14 slots. It can hold up to four cows, seven pigs, and eight sheep on this one. Let's see, options on this. There is no options, but looks really nice. I believe the back can actually lower, and the gate can actually open. So, really nice little trailer right there. Okay, you know what we have to go over now? placeables and we, sh we actually got a quite a few placeables so let's go over the placeables real quick okay so placeables so the first one we got is the gdr building package which is actually a really big package to pretty much make your own farm let's see under miscellaneous it has two right there which is thirty-eight thousand four hundred sixty, and that is for a workshop and of course a fuel station which is let's see twelve thousand six hundred eleven slots for that 18 slots for that let's actually put these down real quick uh 360 rotation on that so let's put that Let's put that down. Okay, then let's see. Under farmhouses, there's nothing. Sheds, you got one, two, three, four, five, five different places. Wow, that's actually pretty big right there. Uh, let's see. We got different ones. We got the hall with one door, uh, one door, three doors, four doors, four doors. And these all range from 14 slots, 13. So only from 13 to 14 slots for those. Let's actually get this one real quick, the biggest one. I think that is it on the package. Uh, let me make sure real quick. Yes. And yes. Okay, so here they are. Really nice models right here. Let's open like that. See the workshop right here. Uh, really nice. Where is the light switch though? Or else do the lights turn on automatically? I don't see a light switch. Hmm. Oh wait, maybe nope. Those are stairs. Oh, can you actually go up these stairs? Let's see. Yes, you can. Can you open the door? No, you can't open that door. Okay, open up those. Those do open, though. What about that? Is that the light switch? That might be it. Yes. Okay, so there is a light switch. Okay, this is a really nice workshop. Okay, and then right next door, we have the fuel station. So this is where you can get some fuel. And then we have another shed right over here. So let's open that up. So nice shed. Turn on some lights. Because it is dark in here. Okay, I like this placeables. Okay, so that is the GDR building package. And the next one after that we have is medium garage width shelter. Let's see, this is 35,000. It is 10 slots, and this is under sheds. Uh, so let's place this really quick. This does, looks like it snaps. Okay, so let's place it right behind this. There we go. And there it is right there. So nice storage area. Uh, no lights in there. So plenty of bays right there. Then on the other side, let's see. There is a door right there. So that opens. Is this one open too? Yes, that one does open too. And then, yeah, this is a pretty, pretty nice too. Let's see. That light switch, does it work? Yes, it does. So there is lights in there too. I love the rollaway doors. Okay, so that is the medium garage with shelter. Okay, and after that one, we have the very old barn, which is 30,000. It is 33 slots. Uh, this looks really old, hence the name, right? Okay, let's see. This does 360 rotation on this, so let's put that one right there. And let's take a look at this one. Wow, look look how beat up that thing looks. But looks nice, doesn't it? This would go good on, you know, like the uh, no man's land when you're first starting out. Okay, so let's open up the doors. Wow, this just looks old and rickety. Does those open? That opens. That opens. Uh, and of course, those right there. I, I like this. This thing looks awesome. Okay, so there is that one. Really nice. Okay, and after that, we have a new market, and this is Market Stall. $500, two slots. Uh, let's go ahead and place this real quick. This one doesn't take up much space. So let's place that right there. So if we go right over here, there is the market stall. Let's see. Uh, looks like it's uh, not in my language, English. Uh, but yeah, looks like we got some tomatoes, lettuce, all that good stuff here, milk. Okay, let's actually go into the store and make sure it's in there. So market stall. Uh, what would it be under? It's probably that Hoff Laden stand. Yeah, probably that one. Okay, so that looks like this takes wheats, barley, oats, canola, uh, soybeans, potatoes, uh, eggs, milk and looks like that's it right there 
It's a nice little cell area right here. So you can put this on your farm and, you know, sell some crops right there. Okay, so there is market stall. After that, we got these right here. This is the large silage bunker pack. Let's see, 36,000 for that one, 60,000 for the double. Uh, one slot, so yeah, definitely really good on the slot count. Uh, let's see, these actually snap, so let's just place them real quick right over here. So there's the single one, and then there is the double one right there. I uh, wonder how much these can actually hold. So there's this one, make sure everything pops up real quick, help window. Yes, the fill level and chaff and the compacting is all in there on that one too, and on that one. So really nice little bunker set. Okay, and after that, we have the old Gates pack. Let's see, 1,500 for that one, 1,650 for that one, one to two slots. Uh, let's see, put this thing right here and put this one right here. This is more of a decorative one for that one. Uh, where are they at? Oh, there they are. Can make sure these all open. Yep, that one opens. This one open. Yep, they both all open. Really nice. They look really small too, though. Okay, so there is the old Gates pack. Okay, and after that, we have the rack pack, which actually includes four racks. We got the big bag rack, the IBC rack, the double rack, and the single rack. Let's see, all the way from 250, all the way up to 450. Uh, looks like they're each five slots. Yep, uh, let's actually put a few down real quick. So there's that. Uh, let us let me make sure you can actually put them in like inside places real quick. Okay, looks like you can't place this inside there. I'm hoping you can place this inside some other shelters. But oh well. Okay, so let's place this one. Where did I put the other one? There it is. You can actually connect them up to each other? Looks like it, yeah. See? Yeah, so there we go right there. <laughs> really nice little racks, though, for some storage area. Okay, and the next one after that, we got with wind turbines. This is a wind energy converter, 800,000. I believe with seasons, it actually goes with wherever the wind's blowing. So it'll actually switch. So that's pretty cool right there. Uh, let's see, I'm on new farmer mode. So this one makes $730 per hour. It is $70 a day. It is only two slots. So let's go ahead and place one real quick. I'm glad it's very, very small. Let's see, look at that thing. <laughs> wow, that thing is huge. I never use these things, but it, yeah, that, that is really big. Okay, so there is with wind turbines. After that, we only got one more mod to go over, so let's go over it real quick. So if we go into here, let's go into miscellaneous, and then all the way at the very end, there it is right there, wrecked boat. This is actually by Adub Modding. It is one slot, $1,000. Let's go ahead and place it. Let's place this little bitty boat thing right next to the wind turbine. Look at that. <laughs> Nice little decoration though. I like I like the details on it. Okay, so that is the wrecked boat. That is all the new mods and placeables for today. Of course, we did get some updates, so let's go over those updates really quick. Okay, so the first update we got for today is for No Man's Land. What did this change? Let's see, added support for upcoming production pack by Farmer Menu. I wonder what that production pack is. That's very, very interesting right there. You know, Alien Gym makes, it's gonna be amazing right there. And then also the other change log says various optimizations. So that is for No Man's Land. Then after that, we got the M402 disc care update. Uh, what did this change? Just some bugs. That's all it changed on that one. Just some bug fixes. Next one after that, we got the Disc Carol 1.6. This changed on it, added new speckler, corrected width, added packer roller, reversed disc, and some fixes for that. That's for the Disc Carol 1.6M. After that one, we got the Pottinger Nova Disc uh, Pack. What did this change? Let's see. Weight set ball now configurable, small UV corrections of the plane, dirt or speckler revised, sound volume adjusted, other small corrections on that one. So that's for the Pottinger. After that one, we have an update to the Chrome ZX470 GD. And what did this do? All I did was change the hubs onto that one and also put it at 1.1. Okay, so the, after that one, we have the old Lizard car trailer. And what did this one do? Just minor fixes and improvements for that one. So that one was a pretty easy one right there. And then after that one, we have the placeable TMR silo by Shaba. What did this do? Let's see the change log on this. All it says is the fill type bug has been fixed. So that is very good right there. And then we got one more update to go over, and that is from the KPS4. What did this do? Let's see, add a new color and minor fixes and improvements for that one. 
Okay, guys, so that is the new mods and updates for today. Let me know in the comment section below which one was your guys' favorite. I'm going to probably have to say that new truck. That new truck looks amazing. Okay, but today's schedule after this video will come out the FS Daily News video. And then, of course, tonight at 8.30 p.m. will be on the last live stream for the week, which will be playing some SnowRunner and the new update, which I'm very, very excited about. Like always, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't subbed, make sure you guys do. And like always, have an all-state farmers. Peace.